Welcome to NET Vapor Reviews. Today is an RTA that I was been waiting for this a while, and it's from the Hellvape Destiny RTA direct to lung. So before we go into it fully, um, we will build the deck and then we'll come back and talk about it. Destiny Hellvape Destiny RTA tank. Let's open it and see what's in it. Tank and a goodie bag. Let's have a look at the tank first. 810 drip tip. It looks nice. I mean, we'll see if it's comfortable. If not, you could always change. To open up your juice is a half turn. Very convenient. Hmm. Yeah, that was very easy to do. Nice size ports. And let's have a look at the deck. Hmm. Very similar to the um, to the Hellvape uh, MD. Similar idea. Two post and uh, yeah, very similar idea, but it's a very easy deck to work on. So I'll just put it on this mod for now. Um, and then this is the two mil glass, and then you got a bubble glass as well. That makes it, I think, to four or five mil, something like that. I'll have it in the description below in any case. And that's the way it looks like with the bubble. But I prefer the straight glass. Um, I don't vape um, direct along the whole day. So for me, it's uh, good enough for two mil. Okay, let's put in a coil. Let's see if they, see, I've got here a coil from Watofo 0 0.33 millimeter um, coil that I was thinking of using, but let's see first what they supply you with. Okay. Let's open this. Ah. Oh, they supply you with um, a coil, yes. What else they supply you? Cotton. Let's have a look. Uh, Sue string. I wonder what type of coil this is. Looks like a fuse clapton. Not sure. But might as well use it. Um, and they give you a screwdriver, some O-rings, and what is this white thing? This might be an adapter for 510. And two screws as well. Okay, now let's build this. This should be fairly easy. No, I need flat screw. Um, very similar to to the MD. I need always my my reading glasses when I do this kind of close up, and even that sometimes doesn't help me. Yeah. Okay, so now we just take the coil and we want it legs up or down like this. I need to open a bit more. Well, you don't want them to fall out completely, then it's going to be some job finding them. it. 
just a little bit more to allow the leg to get in come on get in okay so now what you want is um, tighten it and then straighten out later so what I tend to do is um, just tighten the legs and straighten this out and this is more or less done very easy i just found it a bit difficult to get my coil all over this this post here to get them in the legs but um, if you open the screws enough there's no problem now you want to get them fairly sort of yeah i think this is fine all right let me tighten it and cut the uh, coils they go flying everywhere normally yeah where did it go no idea my wife always says that she always finds bits of coils everywhere <laughs> But you want to cut them quite um, flush so you do gonna have some bits and pieces of coil I'll try and look for them later I think that's good enough now let's fire this um, comes up as a 0 0.35 ohm coil um, I don't want to dry fire it on 40 watts let me lower it down to 25 right uh, nice looks like a good coil you want to just make sure there's no hot spots anywhere. All glows nice and even. And that's it. Just give it a minute to cool. I'm looking forward for this RTA. I heard quite a lot of good things about it. I would like to know how it compares to the Kelpie. So we'll find out sure, uh, soon enough. It's just a bit too hot still. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm going to use my own cotton. I, I'm not crazy about this. Uh, should I use this, I wonder? All right, you know what? I use this comes for free sometimes I'll feed this in you know I, look how much cotton I mean you could use uh, you know I think this is a bit too thick if you ask me but okay this this is all right this side so we'll cut it now let's see what depth we need to go down here mm not so deep so I think we'll cut it just by the o-ring let's just make sure that it's the right length maybe a fraction more okay okay Okay, now let's start uh, 
it's a bit too thick I think the sides what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tidy up a bit just to give it a bit of a trim and tuck them in nice and shouldn't get stuffy so remain nice and fluffy you see you don't want to overstuff it it should look like this more or less you overstuff cotton and never draws the liquid um, from below to the coil properly because they get too they're too dense they need to be fluffy and not too tight okay the juice I'm using today is from super good and it's the rum thing pineapple banana and cherry quite a delightful vape And now we saturate the coils. Smells delightful. It smells like banana. Um, I think there it smells a bit like dates as well, but maybe the banana and uh, and the pineapple give that smell. But it's it's a very very nice liquid. I think I had a review on this. I've got some nice reviews coming up on um, non-naturally extracted tobacco. Let's see how it goes. Okay, I think I saturated enough. Um, let me just tidy it up a bit. Okay. Yep. That's it. Okay, let me just increase the wattage to, let's say, 40 watts. Forty watts, yeah. All right, let's put on the cap. Now, I always um, recommend to put some VG or liquid just by the threadings here so like this you can take off I see so you just take with your finger a bit from the and just go like that easy as peasy I always do it it shouldn't um, soon later have a problem opening the deck okay this is done let me put in liquid this is enough for now close the cap quarter of a turn and here you got the airflow uh, very easy to turn we'll keep it now of, let's say half and let's see what it comes up of 0 0.4 ohm coil um, 0 0.4 ohm yeah I wonder if I take off the tank fully and then put it back see if it reads the ohm better oh if I'm already here just always make sure that your 510 is uh, where's the flathead one um, there's always there's secure it's tight otherwise the ohms will go up and down all right, let's see now how is it going to register. Same 0 0.42 ohm coil. Okay, let's try it. Oh, love of vapor. Mmm, flavor is good. Oh, yeah. Smooth airflow. 
Mm, delicious. Okay, we'll come up top in a minute. See you in a second. Okay, so we're back on top and let's talk about this Destiny RTA. Um, so far, I haven't come across any problem. Um, I've been vaping this a whole day and uh, just to finish off the review, it is superb, uh, superb, superb tank. Very nice indeed. The only problem, it's not even a problem, that I found is that when I first initially put in the liquid and I wanted to add some more liquid, when I twisted the top cap to get the liquid, to get my liquid in, it, t it, it was tight. So it twisted the whole glass, started to twist the whole glass. I tried to, straight away I tightened it back and I lubricated a bit. So now it's much easier. So, so I always hold the glass when I open the top cap. But it's only a quarter twist. I mean, it's very easy. Very easy. The mouthpiece I'm not crazy about. Um, I'm not crazy about. And I'm using it now on this top side light. Although there is like a small gap in between the tank and the mod. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, right there. But that doesn't bother me. I'm waiting for a mod to come for ages. Uh, the post is so unreliable at the moment. So when that comes, I'll use it. I, either I'll use this on the new mod or the mouse to long RTA from Hellvape as well, the MD. But how does it compare to the Kelpie? I think that it's his direct rival. Um, looks, it looks very similar. Um, this is a bit taller. I don't have a use for the bubble glass for now because normally I just vape direct along in the evenings, sometimes during the day, but not the whole day. My, my, my whole day is my mouth to long tobaccos. So I didn't bother and it looks nicer as well. Aesthetically, it looks nicer with the straight glass. It's a 24 millimeter. Um, 89 millimeter height without a drip tip as you've seen it's a single coil configuration that's what I like even my Zeus is a, I put in a single coil I find two coils is a bit too much for me okay you've seen the deck it's a big deck it's a generous size you can build very easy on it I mean you've seen how easy just the one thing that I found is the post that's opposite the that thing that's sticking out opposite the post bothers a bit the coil to get in if it's a big beefy coil so you have to really twist the coil a bit to get it in an angle what else could i tell you this is a two mil and the, and the bubble glass that comes with it is a four mil um, easy to coil easy to wick airflow is super smooth Although, when I keep it wide open, it is a bit too airy for me. A bit too airy. So I keep it on half closed. Very easy to turn. No problem at all. No leaks. Okay, I didn't use it for a long time, but no leaks. Flavor is no problem. Never had any, any problem with the wicking. How does it compare flavor-wise to the Kelpie? Quite the same, I think. The airflow on the Kelpie is a very similar airflow. A bit, a touch more airy on the Destiny. Um, this is obviously a slide opening and this is a quarter cap. The Zeus X, similar um, airflow. Flavor-wise, I would say, is it a bit more than the Kelpie? I'm not sure, but the Kelpie's coil is a week old. Um, I did actually re-wick it two days ago, but um, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> it's nitpicking. 
to say that this is a bit better flavor than the Kelpie or the Zeus X. The both, the all superb tanks, all superb flavor. I mean, when you're getting such um, um, pinpoint flavors from your liquids, it's very difficult to tell the difference between three top RTAs. Very difficult. Very, very difficult. If you put me on the spot, which one I should buy? If you had a choice of the three, that's even more difficult. Then it's really up to the looks and price. Okay, this is the black, black, this is the silver, but I mean, they're all very similar. The Kelpie, I think, is the smallest from them. Um, it comes down to price, I think, at the end of the day. But the Destiny RTA from Hellvape is a super tank. Very happy with it. The flavor is just superb. This is the Ting Rum from so, um, uh, um, well, Super Good. That's it. Banana Rum and something else. You can see my review on it. It's a very nice um, Moorish type of vape. It's like a cocktail. I would say like more dates, banana and other things in it. It's a very nice, warm, yeah, very nice liquid. All in all, I can't fault this tank. If you're after an RTA, direct or long, obviously, that will be easy to live with, easy to wick, easy to coil, no problem, smooth airflow, top flavor, good machinery, looks good. You can buy them in a few colors. Um, I tend to go to silver and black because they all fit any mod, more or less. That's um, conserv a sure color. Um, the mouthpiece, as I said, I will change most probably to something like this, but maybe a reddish color, maybe a black with something, a resin. I'm not crazy about this mouthpiece. And also, I think there is in the, as you saw below, I think there is an adapter for 510 as well. Um, all in all, I am very, very happy with it. Yes, indeed. Yeah. I'll put uh, uh, some of the description below. Um, I think I covered this tank fully. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Tell me your experience with this tank. I am very happy with it, very happy with it. Now I've got another top RTA for my evening vapes. Mm, flavor, delicious. Okay, until the next review, take care, enjoy your vape, bye-bye for now.